Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Monday, April 2nd, 2012. Our top story comes from the world of technology, but also kind of medicine, in that the IBM Artificial Intelligence Watson is going into a residency at a renowned cancer hospital. Watson is probably best known for winning against the world's best Jeopardy players, demonstrating its unprecedented ability to understand human language. Medical applications was one long-term goal IBM had for Watson, and this residency is actually a continuation of its medical training. This will begin with Watson's memory banks being filled with textbooks, medical journals, and even patient files, with permission. Ultimately, the goal is for Watson to help doctors make quick and accurate diagnosis and recommend treatment. To put Watson to the test, a panel of experts will assess its recommendations when given cancer scenarios of greater and greater complexity. Watson is even expected to factor in patients' preferences in the various treatments it suggests. And while it's being trained in this particular hospital because of its many experienced specialists, the hope is that this could help doctors from anywhere. Watson could potentially be accessed from any hospital, allowing it to assist doctors with its constantly updated medical knowledge. Obviously, the goal isn't to replace doctors, but instead give them an advanced tool for helping them stay up to date with the massive amount of research taking place. And once it's fully functional, will give us an edge against cancer. Next, we turn to the world of medicine. Researchers from Germany have, for the first time, turned skin cells into somatic stem cells. Now, these stem cells are not to be confused with induced pluripotent stem cells. As we've discussed before, much research is going into pluripotent stem cells because they have the potential to be turned into any cell type. But these researchers are in favor of somatic stem cells because they are multipotent, being able to form many but not all cell types. This is meant to streamline the cell conversion process and make it more stable and practical for medical applications. For now, though, converting skin cells and mice into somatic stem cells and then those into a kind of neural tissue is still a pretty big breakthrough. Obviously, the next step is trying this with human skin cells, but it'll take some time before they're used in treatments. Still, this is a promising avenue of research for the growing field of regenerative medicine. We end with a quick update from the field of biotechnology. A startup company in Serogen has been using the tobacco plant as a biological factory. A few weeks ago, we had a story about a project attempting to produce ready-to-use biofuels using tobacco. These tobacco plants are being genetically engineered to produce certain proteins like those used in vaccines. Because a vaccine is essentially just a weakened virus or viral fragments consisting of mostly proteins the immune system can react to. They've already begun making a vaccine for Newcastle disease, which infects chickens and other poultry. Obviously, the hope is to produce human vaccines, too, but they're already producing a therapeutic protein used to treat certain people's genetic deficiency. Hopefully, this promising use of biotechnology will expand its production and increase public health. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.